It's a horror. A horror. Name I was gonna make up for. A horror. Ah. Just a horror. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary and today we are starting the Star Trek trilogy, the 2009 version. This first film is directed by J.J. Abrams, who directed two of the Star Wars sequels, <laughs> mind you. <laughs> Regardless, I've heard great things about this trilogy. There is one guy in my comments that comments on every single video of mine to give Star Trek a chance and it's always been on my list so I was never not giving it a chance it was just about getting to it and i'm finally getting to it so i'm really excited i don't actually know too much about this film or this trilogy or even the franchise what it's about some people say it's a less good version of star wars <laughs> which isn't really the greatest pitch, but it has a great cast. Chris Pine, Ronona Ryder, Eric Banner. Oh, Anton Yelchin. Actually, rest in peace. I think he passed away a few years ago. So cool. He's in this film as well. Also Zoe Saldana. So really excited to see her not in green makeup. This film is an action adventure sci-fi and I'm really excited to get into it. Before we do though, I want to remind you guys about the uncut version that is going to be available on my Patreon. The link for that is in the description bar and in the pinned comments below where you can also find me on all of the social media handles, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, Twitch. I also have two other channels, my new gaming channel, which I actually recently just posted on that channel uh, just yesterday. Well, by the time you see this, hopefully there'll be more than just one full gameplay video up. And my vlog channel, of course, Very Cherry, where the content may vary, but it's still the same old Mary Cherry. <laughs> so with all of that said, guys, I think we're ready to jump into this reaction. So without further ado, let's get watching. Sent you a transmission. Did you receive? It looks like a lightning storm. That's crazy, yeah, that's out that's in space. Oh my God. That looks like they're being attacked by lightning. And it's claws. <laughs> or it's giant mouth. <laughs> no idea what the hell that is. Giant ship emerging from the lightning? Maybe? Oh my gosh. Is that the sun in the background, by the way? Good God. Instant chaos. Instant. And then pure silence. That's always alarming. Hey! What the hell? Was that Chris Hemsworth? Like... Ale on monitor. My commander requests the presence of your captain. Whoa. In order to negotiate a ceasefire. That's an Would alien. Wise. That's an alien, dude. Oh, wait. There's, <laughs> there's an alien on this ship as well. Okay. So it's not that big a deal. Yeah, that's definitely an alien next to that. Like, that's Chris Hemsworth. What? what the hell? No one told me Chris Hemsworth was in this film. Why didn't I see it on, in the in the cast Why list? You your captain now, Mr. Kirk. Oh, he's Mr. Kirk? Bro, what? <laughs> I had no f what? I looked at the IMDB. Surely. Let me just have another fucking look, sorry. Chris Pine. On, on IMDB, it says Chris Pine. What is going on? I'm so confused. I'm so freaking confused, but also delighted. <laughs> I'm gonna take a screenshot of the IMDB so you guys know that I'm not lying because this is tripping me out. That's a ship, man. That's a crazy looking ship. Is he okay? He's just shit scared. Whoa, check out that makeup. Look and that you. tech. I will speak. Hey, that's Captain Eric Nero. Banner. Man, that's Captain Nero. Captain Nero's scary, dude. Look at those eyes. Oh my god. I'm unfamiliar with Ambassador Spock. <laughs> Maybe he's what lying. 2233. That's super in the future. Where are you from? <laughs> oh no. Is he gonna die? <gasps> Oh! Sir, they're Just like that? Bravo six, maneuver, fire, full Holy shit, dude. They just Captain lost their captain. He wasn't lying when he said, You're captain now to Kirk. It's like he knew that he wasn't walking out of that alive. Oh my gosh. That poor pregnant lady. How stressful for her. It's coming. So that's his. Oh, it's. They're together. Let's hope Kirk doesn't die. Oh my god. Really? Way to level up the stress. Why does it say male nurse in the subtitles? Just say nurse. Not gonna be there. Oh. This is the only way you'll survive. Please don't. Oh. Maybe. Okay. Will he die too? Is that why I didn't see him on the IMD? But, but, but his name is Kirk. Oh. 
This music is beautiful, though. I hope he makes it. Doesn't look promising. Just non diegetic sound, heightening the drama. Oh, here we go. Baby crying. His baby's born. Congratulations. A boy? A boy! It's beautiful. We can name him after your father. Tiberius, you can't. Tiberius. <laughs> this is a long name. Name him after your dad. Let's call him Jim. Jim. That's just a regular name. <laughs> I love you so much. Oh man, oh man. I love you. Oh shit, he does die? How? No. How's he gonna survive that? Oh man, I'm so sorry. That sucks so bad. Whew, what an introduction. Like 11 minutes into the movie. And a lot, a lot of shit has gone down. Star Trek. Iowa on earth now that gym why is he driving he's way too young you live in my house and don't like my his stepdad <laughs> what a rebel oh my god dude kid dude you shouldn't have done that that's fucked <laughs> he's living his best life oh and he's got a mate oh watch the road i don't think johnny's his mate <gasps> Police are after you, kid! That is a cool ship. Not ship, but motorbike ship. <laughs> oh, shit. Lucky he's a minor. Ooh. What are you doing, kid? What are you doing? You could kill yourself. Oh, fuck, dude. No. No, kid. Turn around. No way. No. What? Oh! <gasps> Oh, oh, dude, are you joking? Okay, this kid is a menace. That's not cool. No. Is there a problem, officer? Yeah. My name is James Tiberius Kirk. James Tiberius Kirk. So they did give the middle name Tiberius. James Tiberius Kirk. Okay, so then this kid must be Chris Pine when he grows up. This is so cool. Is this school? I feel like I would focus so well if this is how I was taught. This is perfect for my ADHD. Everybody looks so Spock. weird though. Spock. That's the name from Affirmative. that Eric Banner was asking about. Affirmative. <laughs> Your 35th attempt to elicit an emotional response from me. Neither human nor Vulcan and therefore have no place in this universe. Look. Oh. For marrying her. That human whore. Whoa. So he does get emotional when it comes to his mom. Damn, kid. Spock. Oh, you can't take it overboard. <laughs> Emotions run deep within our race, in many ways more deeply than in humans. Logic hmm. offers a serenity humans seldom experience. Control of feelings so that they do not control you. They're a logical species. Marrying your mother was logical. Really? Is that one on a rider? No. She plays such a good mother. Man. Whatever you choose to be, you will have a proud mother. Oh, she's nice. Love to have her in my family. Uh, Very supportive. To what disadvantage are you referring? Your human mother. They really don't have a lot of regard for humans. Just because they have emotions? Council. No Vulcan has ever declined admission to this academy. I am half human. Your record remains untarnished. Ha. Spock. He's acting on emotion. Satisfy your emotional need to rebel. <laughs> Live long and prosper. Damn. Damn. Okay, Spock. I respect that. I will look so desolate. Is this Zoe Saldana? Maybe? No? Yeah! Yeah, that Two is her. Cardassian sunrises. Uh, Cardassian. <gasps> Chris Pine? You are fine, man. It's Jim, Jim Kirk. Oh, it is. It's Ahura. Ahura? <laughs> Ahura. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Just Ahura. Well, they don't have first names here anymore? <laughs> 
So, you're what is that? alien languages, morphology, phonology, oh. syntax. Impressive. You've got a talented tongue. I'm impressed. For a moment there, I thought you were just a dumb hick who only has sex with farm animals. Wow. <laughs> Not only. <laughs> <laughs> you could handle me. That's an invitation. Oh hey, my god. You better mind your manners. Oh my gosh. Lay off. But there are four of us and one of you. So get some more guys and then it'll be an even fight. Oh shit, he's confident. Oh my god. Oh Jimmy. Damn, he's copping a beat. Oh shit. Not smooth, not smooth, not impressive either. Mm -mm. It's not attractive, yo. All these people are wearing red. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them. Oh shit, he looks fucked up. You can whistle really loud, you know that? You can be an officer in four years. You can have your own ship in eight. That sounds pretty cool. Join the Federation. Join Starfleet. Shipyard. He saved eight hundred lives, including your mother's. Chills. Wow. That's definitely on a light screen. Inspirational music. Four years? Do it in three. He likes a challenge. I hope Zoe Sal Ahura. I hope her character comes back somewhere Can along the join? line. <laughs> I think she must be a part of this ship because they're all wearing red. Did he not have a chance to change? <laughs> Clean up. Oh, there she is. I suffer from aviophobia. It means fear of dying. Sir, for your own safety, <laughs> sit down, or else I'll make you sit down. Oh my gosh. Why is he in the ship then? He has this fear. That's brave of him. I may throw up on you. Ugh. I think these things are pretty safe. A tiny crack in the hull, and our blood boils in 13 seconds. Soul flare might crop up. Love, love this guy. See if you're still so relaxed when your eyeballs are bleeding. Space is disease and danger wrapped in darkness and silence. Starfleet operates in space. Yeah. yeah well, what are you doing here? Wants to go, the ex-wife took the whole damn planet in a divorce. Planet? Who is he? Leonard McCoy. Leonard McCoy, Jim Kirk. I have to say their names. I have to repeat them. Otherwise, I'm afraid I'll forget. I'm not good. I'm not good with names. As you guys probably have guessed. Three years later, let's see his progress. Oh, that ship again. Nero, right? Captain Nero. Yes, I remembered Romulan crewmen. Oh, the Romulans are the bad people. And they take their revenge him. plot real serious. I'm gonna make him watch. Jesus. What kind of ship is that? It kind of looks like a droid doing its own thing. Welcome back, Spock. Oh, it's Spock. Why do you want about? Spock oh, so much? This planet's beautiful. Oh my. Jim. Whoa. So weird. <gasps> She's green. She looks like Gamora's sister. <laughs> but like reddish hair. Uh, oh no! <gasps> That's her room. Tracking solar systems and oh no. picked up an emergency transmission. Oh my gosh. Going on prison planet. Going on our model. Oh, he's destroyed. watching her. Uh oh, she knows. Kayla, who is he? You can hear me breathing? <laughs> you. If I pass oh, me from the first No! Yeah, like she's gonna wanna sleep we with you now. A distress signal from the USS Kobayashi Maru. And how do you expect us to rescue them when we're surrounded by Klingons? Captain. Alert medical. Okay, he's he's doing this on purpose. Why? No. Oh. Of course not. So immature. Jim is very obnoxious and self-centered. Photons prepare to fire on the Klingon warbirds. Jim, their shields are still up. Are they? Oh my gosh. No, they're not. Nice. Ships destroyed, Captain. Begin rescue of the stranded crew. So he actually no did one it. Board was injured. Steal your attitudes, shit, mate. So you you might want to fix it. <laughs> How the hell did that kid beat your test? <laughs> Spock accusing him of cheating? Ah. Oh. And his eyebrows are Commander, on fleek. You cheated. A captain cannot cheat death. Oh my god, he's really going to talk and about his dad? He seemed pretty in control of his emotions. In fact, he seemed completely apathetic. Who was that pointy eared bastard? I don't know. But I like him. <laughs> <laughs> you're on academic suspension, what? that means you're grounded until the academy board. Rules. What's he gonna do? 
What's he gonna do? That's unsafe. He's gonna stay here? That's not safe. Just to be with everybody. What if something goes wrong here? <gasps> Maybe something will go wrong here and then he'll get to prove himself. Come with me. Uhura, USS Farragut. Uhura. I'm assigned to the Enterprise. I love her ambition. Ow! Okay. <laughs> Give you a symptom. <laughs> talking about. You're gonna start to lose vision in your left eye. What? Yeah, I have. Oh yeah, you owe me one. <laughs> Unconventional doctor. Correction of his attending physician, which is me. Nice. So I'm taking Mr. Kirk aboard. Why the Enterprise warps into a crisis without one of its senior medical officers. Nice. As you were. Nice. Nice. I like him. I like him a lot. It's so beautiful the set. And these shots as well. Oh my god, he's not doing well. He's doing better with his fear of flying. Old mate next to him. Got his name already. McCoy, sorry, McCoy. Wow, that's fucking cool. Like a spaceship planet. Noise. I feel like I'm leaking. Oh, oh shit. Your bastard. Is he peeing himself? <laughs> Hyperspeed. They had a hyperdrive in there for sure. <laughs> oh wow, she looks Lieutenant. cool. Hyperspeed. Where are we? I'm going to give you a mild sedative. Oh, oh no. You. No. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Does he have to be so intrusive about it? Ensign Chekhov. Oh, him. What appeared to be a lightning like storm accent. in space. Remember, or was he told about his father's death? Oh my this? god, what the? Ah. Oh my god, he's like, fuck off, I'm running away. Hey. We gotta stop the ship. Jim, I'm not kidding. We need to keep your heart rate down. Oh, oh no. Lucky he's here. Oh, I haven't seen a reaction this severe since med school. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Stop shoving vaccines into me, god damn it! Consent matters. Oh my god, what's wrong with your hand? <laughs> Why can't he talk? You got numb tongue? Oh my god, bro. Stop fixing him, you're making him worse. Romulan, yes. <laughs> oh no. His mama. He's freaking out because he knows. He's been told the stories. Listen to him. Based on what facts? Trauma? That same anomaly, a lightning storm in space that we saw today, also occurred on the day of my birth. Before a Romulan jet ship, which had formidable and advanced weaponry, was never seen or heard from again. Shit. Tell them that in 2300 hours last night, there was an attack. He's been obsessing over it. Sir, I intercepted and translated the message myself. Kirk's report is accurate. At least they can take her if word. That's logic is sound. We would be wise to accept her conclusion. Mm -hmm. Scan Vulcan space. Sir, Finally, I'm not sure I can distinguish the Romulan language. No, that's or scary. transmission of any kind in the area. It's because that's they're scary. being attacked. Oh, oh, that's good. The Romulans are being attacked. Red alert. <laughs> oh, oh. yeah, shit's going down the Vulcan. At least they're more prepared for it. It's happening again, but this time, Amanda Spock is in this ship. The Romulans were a little too early in their first attack. Ooh! Yeah. What the hell are they gonna do? They can't even talk to the Vulcans. Wait! Wait? NCC. That means something to him. Hello. Oh God. I do not speak for the Empire. We stand apart. <sighs> oh no. Not How yet. does he know him? You have no choice. Oh. You a man shuttle. Come on board. Oh the no. For negotiations. Negotiations. Fuck. Literally the same thing happened to Kirk's captain. Kirk, you too. You're not supposed to be here anyway. <laughs> Check off. You Kirk, you too. Uh, not supposed it. to be here, so you could die. I don't care. <laughs> That's weird. What the heck was that? Sample of his blood? Such a tiny little droplet. What for? We'll space jump from the shuttle. Space we'll jump? Land on that machine I'm here. scared. You'll get inside. Kirk, I'm promoting you to first officer. What? Captain? What? Please, I apologize. The complexities of human pranks escape me. <laughs> <Spock>. <laughs> I 
And I'm not the captain. <laughs> I love the way Spock talks. It's McCoy. Dr. Puri was on deck six. He's dead. Ooh. Oh, fuck. I wouldn't employ this guy to be the chief. He doesn't know what he's doing. I can't wait to kick some rummy in ass. Right. We'll yeah. see. What kind of combat training do you have? Fancy. Oh, my God. Are you serious? I did doubt. When he said I have combat experience, I was like, hmm? Okay. I'm shot. One opportunity. Ooh. Oh my god. No thanks to space jumping. Absolutely no way in hell. Not for me. Nope. Mm -mm. Oh, have they even ever done this before? I would never. Oh my gosh. That's This is the longest sky jump I have ever witnessed. Sky jumping should never last that long. Oh my gosh. They're burning up. Right? Is that what's happening? Ooh. Oh shit, dude. Oh my god, hurry, hurry. Oh, your shoot. Oh. You're an idiot, dude. You're a fucking idiot. Holy shit. What an absolute fucking idiot he was. Oh no, it's happened to him too. You gotta ditch your parachute. Yes. Thank you. Oh my god, that was so close. Oh my. And he's doing this on his own as well. On top of a very, very dangerous platform. Is this guy gonna be okay now? Good, good. Oh no, not good, not good. Bro, can they stop with the fire? <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. Nice jumping. Hey, the fencing is coming into great use. <laughs> Kirk's throwing punches. Oh, my gosh. This has happened to him before as a kid. Get back up. Ooh. Yes, what just happened? Oh, yes! Yes! Fancy dude came through. I forgot his name, I'm sorry. Uh, also, I don't want to mispronounce it. I have a small idea. Sulu, Sulu. Just gonna blast it. That's an idea. Yes, they did it. Nice. What a successful mission. Minus Olsen, but he was an idiot. Red matter? That doesn't sound very good. Consumes a planet. What the? They're creating a black hole at the center of Vulcan. Whoa. Yes. Everyone has to evacuate. Yes, what? What? Oh, he, ne to signal a planet -wide evacuation. Wait, he needs to get to his over. mom. Oof. Check off, you have the con. Beam us out of here. How could they destroy an entire planet like that? So just keeps jumping. I would have it would take me a while. Yes! Yes! Team oh no! What the hell are they gonna do now? Beam us up! I can do that! Go, dude, Thanks do it. Oh, run, 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 run. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so cute. Oh, my God. They don't have long. Hold on. Now, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Nice. Wow. 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 Yeah, how are you? Nice. Saved. That was so cool. He just has to save his mom and dad. That is so cool. I haven't seen that happen in a Star Wars movie, so good job, Star Trek. <laughs> Quickly. Now, beam. Everybody get beamed. Fucking hell. <gasps> save Winona Ryder. Whatever else happens, save Winona Ryder. Why can't they just beam from the spot right there? Come on, come on, come on. Wow. Yes. Yes. Is it working? Please. Please work. Please work. Oh! 
Oh, fuck. Oh, no. His mom didn't make it through. And they all just witnessed a core trauma of Spock's. Shit. Far out. At least you saved your dad. But fucking hell, Winona Ryder? She had to die? I wanted more scenes with her. Oh my lord. That's brutal. Absolutely brutal. I have never seen a weapon like that. That's crazy. That is the craziest weapon Back I have ever Bronx, seen. Nero, who has destroyed my home planet and most of its six billion inhabitants. Billion? Fuck, that was genocide. While the essence of our culture has been saved, I am now a member of an endangered species. That's brutal. And I'm sure he's feeling all sorts of things. It's okay. It's okay to feel. Does she like him? She does. She does oh i'm so confused she's into her teacher amanda captain to continue performing admirably oh my god he does not have a romantic bone in his body does he i think he's kind of kissing her back like but it's very light oh, i mm. prevented genocide what and spark he didn't help us Betrayed what us. is he talking about? Confused. You've been misinformed. Romulus hasn't been destroyed. I watched it happen. I saw he's it. He's from a different don't tell time. He's from a different time. I don't know what he's talking about, but this is not matching up. Two wrongs I'm don't make a right. We have nothing left to discuss. He's accepting his death. <gasps> torture. Centurion slugs. That's a torture device. Oh my god, I would, I would, I would honestly just... Oh! Oh, gross, gross! Oh, poor Christopher! To assume every Federation planet's a target. Out of the chair. <laughs> well, if... Damn it, man, I'm a doctor, not a physicist. Are you actually suggesting they're from the future? If you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains must be the truth. How poetic. Then what would be angry said. vacations without There's which we got cannot to be contact Starfleet? We must gather he with the rest of Starfleet. He shuts down every suggestion. Balance, Nero's very presence has altered the flow of history. An alternate reality. <gasps> the multiverse. Precisely. <laughs> might be if the time every comes. second we waste, Nero's getting closer to his next target. That is correct. Earth. Why I'm instructing you to accept the fact that his mom is there. He's thinking about his mom. He's thinking about his friends, his people. <laughs> Why does he always have to start a fight? <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> Get him off this ship. Oh my god. Where did they send him? Unsafe. Unsafe. Oh my god. Where the hell? So cold as well. 14 kilometers is a very long way away. If you're walking, it's gonna take like two, three hours. How does he even know where Northwest is? He's a compass. And it's freaking cold. How could they do this to him? I just heard a wolf. I don't know about you guys. Uh-oh. It's running towards him. Go back to your pod. Go back to your pod. Oh my god, it's not a wolf. I don't know what that is. Uh, why did you... Dude, the computer said that it was dangerous. Remain in your pod and you get out of your pod. What do you expect is going to happen? Oh, whoa. What just ate? What the hell was that, bro? Where is he? Uh, get away from that thing too. Um... An alien dinosaur. That's what it looks like. An alien dinosaur. This is messed. This is horrific. This is horror. Oh my god. I'm sure you'll fall into something also dangerous. Oh my gosh, the thing is coming after you. Oh my lord. Ooh. Oh. Whoa. Where is he now? Oh. Who the hell? Who's this? Um, who the hell are you? Are you a Jedi? Excuse me? <laughs> Where did you find me? I wasn't looking for you. How do you know my name? I have been and always shall be your friend. Why is his eyebrows like Spock's? Uh, well, I am Spock. Huh? What? Bullshit. Um. Sir, I, I appreciate what you did for me today, but if, if you Spock. were Spock, you'd know we're not friends. Spock sent him to you Vega. Me here for mutiny. And then no, here is old right. Spock. You're the captain. Pike was taken hostage. I guess things are different. Why, Nero? In this alternate universe. 
is a particularly troubled Romulan. <laughs> Please. That's a nice word. Well, I'm kind of confused. Mind. One and together. Twenty-nine years. That is where I'm from. Future. Okay. I promised the Romulans that I would save their planet. Why would you promise that? So that's how they have the, the supernova red hole. destroyed Romulus. That's in 129 years. So that's where Nero is also from. Oh, that's the red matter. It's, it wasn't blood. <laughs> That makes more sense. <laughs> Both of us were pulled into the black hole. Oh. And now he's lost in the Nero time. went through first. Oh. That. This is the point where his dad dies soon after. He captured my vessel and spared my life so that I would know his pain. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave me here. Right. I would be helpless to save mine. Right. Right. <laughs> That's a that's a crazy Emotion revenge transfer. plot. Nero is a psycho. Most people so just you do feel kill. This is psychological. Not Maybe he's here. responsible for his dad's death Wait, as well. Did I know my father? Yes. Wow. You often spoke of him as being your inspiration for joining Starfleet. Oh. Yeah. Never knew his dad, but loves him so dearly. Chekhov is amazing. <laughs> He's very talented. Yes. The gravitational pull. Are you out of your Vulcan mind? <laughs> Vulcan. Are you making a logical choice, sending Kirk away? My God, man, you could at least act like it was a hard decision. <laughs> That's true, though. However, if crew morale is better served by my roaming the halls weeping, I will gladly defer to your medical expertise. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's so quick-witted. I absolutely love it. <laughs> His comebacks are just so hilarious. Oh, the Starfleet Outpost. Oh, what the heck? Whoa, that curious looking dude. Could you not come a wee bit sooner? Six months I've been here. You are Montgomery Scott. Montgomery oh, yeah. Scott. You're in the right place. You can eat like a bean and you're done. <laughs> I'm talking about food, real food. He's a very important man. Form. So He's a very important man. I tested it man. on Admiral prize beagle. What happened to it? I'll tell you when it reappears. <clears throat> I don't know. I do feel guilty about that. What if I told <laughs> you it's because you haven't discovered it yet? He becomes a very important man. Are you from the future? Well, I love we how in this well. movie Tumble it's just like, are you from the future? Where yes, no. Okay, I believe so, you. Straight away. Oh, his mind is blowing. Imagine that. Well, Under that no happened. circumstances can he be made aware of my existence. You must promise me this. You're telling me what? I, I, I... who's emotionally compromised by the mission at hand hmm. must resign said command. And Spock is emotional. I just lost my planet. And his mom. I can tell you, I am emotionally compromised. Mm. What you must do is get me to show it. It's up to you, Jim. You can't come with me, go on. I love this guy's accent. Coming back in time, changing history, it's cheating. Yeah. Trick I learned from an old friend. <laughs> Live long. Hey. And I can't. Prosper. I can't do that. I can only do like this. I can't do it. Uh. <laughs> I would be a bad falcon. What the? How did he end up in there? How come it didn't work for him? What the heck, man? <laughs> he's gonna die. Oh my gosh, he's going up now. Oh shit, he's not gonna survive that last one though. He's gonna get spliced. Okay, you need to do something quick thinking. Come on, Kirk. Yes! Life saved. Crisis averted. And I'm soaked, but otherwise I'm fine. Get this book. Uh, yeah. Of course. Security seal the engineering deck. Are they surprised? Turbine section three. Stunned. Really? This young Spock is not nice. Hey, the bolt guy? Cupcake. Was he in Parks and Rec? You will answer me. I do not take sides. For the need to stop at nothing to avenge the death of the woman who gave birth to you. Back away. You feel nothing. It must oh. not even compute. You never loved her. Oh, damn. Dude, goosebumps. Bro, Spock. Spock. You take, take a chill pill, Spock. Take a chill pill. You're doing too much. Spock. It's your dad telling you to stop. <laughs> His dad's like, what was that about? That was weird. <laughs> Step down. 
Damn. Savage, but necessary. Is she gonna try and comfort him again? I like this ship. <laughs> you know, it's exciting. <laughs> he can do, do it. What? He can do it. Mr. Spock has resigned commission and advanced me to acting captain. <laughs> That's such an L on Spock's part. It's wartime. Kirk out. Kirk out? That's your... Okay. <laughs> Kirk out. I feel anger for the one who took mother's life. Yes. I married her because I loved her. Oh, wow. He's finally admitting that he loved his wife to his son. After how many years? The magnetic distortion from the planet's rings will make us nice. invisible to Nero sensors. From nice. Oh, that might work. Nice. Seventeen, sir. Seventeen. Oh, good, seventeen. Wow, Doctor. that's young. Also, my mother was human, which makes Earth the only home I have left. Nice. Save your home. I'm coming with you. I and would this... cite regulation, but I know you will simply ignore it. <laughs> we are getting to know each other. This is the beginning of their friendship. And such an unlikely friendship. They're so different from each other. <laughs> we are in position above Titan. Nice. Really? Fine job, Mr. Sully. Well done. <laughs> Chris Hemsworth and Pine actually do look similar. What? Are they just like making out? Oh my gosh. Wow. That this. Is... Under your frequency. Thank you, Nyota. Neoda. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. <laughs> that's actually so funny. It's our first name's Neoda. I have no comment on the matter. <laughs> Neota Uhara. Uhura. Oh! Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, ho! Dude, how do they expect two against all of these Romulans? Like, what? This is a very, 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 very risky job. They just need to get to where they need to be, hack the system, and I can go. Nero is flipping out. Oh, nice! He really did got get him. Yes, get Captain Pike. Save Earth. How terrifying. You can't reverse that shit, too. What a pretty ship. Voice print and face recognition analysis enabled. Uh oh. Welcome back, Ambassador Spock. Welcome back. You're gonna be able to fly this thing, right? Something tells me I already have. Good luck. It's a future yeah. ship. Brother. Spock, it'll work. Don't be so confident. Spock? Like, Ambassador. instantly knew <laughs> that he's flown the ship before that's pretty smart of him like his older version was like don't let my younger version know that i exist and whatnot but spock is smart enough and he figured it out himself probably not that the older spock exists right now but he has a sense of what's going on the driller oh oh my gosh he did not see that and he lost his gun i know your face from earth's history from earth's history what a weird sentence i killed your dad this is your chance. Get revenge. Avenge your dad. Ugh, doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Dude has copped so many beatings in this film. Pew, 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 pew. James T. Kirk was considered to be a great man. He went on to captain the USS Enterprise. But that was another life. Ooh. A life I will deprive you of, just like I did your father. Ooh, he's learning the truth. I hope he can avenge his dad. I really do. Oh my. The drill yes. has been destroyed. Yes, the drill's been destroyed. So you can destroy it. Bigger fish to fry. You got saved, Kirk. How are you going to avoid this guy? He's got a giant gun. Oh no, now now there's people after Spock. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, that's why he was in that ship that I said earlier looks like a droid. Ouch. Ooh. He keeps hanging off things and getting choked. I got your gun. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. How he managed to hang on is a miracle. I reckon that shot would have even killed him too. Just because of the impact. There we go. There we go. It's all starting to become so familiar. Fire everything! Oh. 
He's just psychotic, Nero. Well, we have to make sure that the ship does not get hit. But hasn't he been poisoned? Unless they can get that bug out of him. However they do that, I do not want to see it. Come on, Captain. Yes. He's going right in. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then beamed out. They, they did it. I've never beamed three people from two targets onto one pad before. Go, Scotty. Is that like that a health scan? Good. This kid, I love this kid. So much red matter. Oh! Oh! And it destroyed the ship! Hell yeah! Get fucked, Nero. <laughs> Close to the singularity to survive without assistance, which we are willing to provide. Really? Willing? I would rather die in agony than accept assistance from you. Hey. Got it. Whatever you wish. He didn't even want to save his people. He made that choice on everyone's behalf. It's a terrible leader. At least I think the villain dies in this film. I guess every film will have a different villain, maybe? Rip. Get out of there. Oh, they're going through the black hole? And get us out of here, Scotty. You bitch and ass, Captain! <laughs> Whoop the entire ship away from that black hole. What the hell, man? Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Yes, I think it's working. I think it's working. Yes! Yes! <laughs> nice! And triumphant music to match the mood. Nice. I am not our father. I am not our father. <laughs> what a sentence. Oh, this is then so Then why cool. did you send Kirk aboard when you alone could have explained the truth? I could not deprive you of the revelation of all that you could accomplish together. Of a friendship that will define you both. You lied. Oh, uh, so it I, was a lie. I implied. <laughs> I was in. An act of faith. I have already located a suitable planet on which to establish a Vulcan colony. Oh, good. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, I still can't do it. How cool meeting your older self. This I would have so many questions. And reflect Yay. utmost credit to yourself. Congrats. By Starfleet order, you are hereby directed to report to Admiral Pike. USS I'm Enterprise so glad Admiral duty. Pike is still this alive. Is so good. I mean, he's he's a bit injured, but I he's okay. You, your father would be proud of you. Aww. Nice. Great character arc for old Kirky. Thrusters on full. Maneuvering thrusters and impulse engines at your command, sir. Captain. Next mission. Buckle up. <laughs> Get down! <laughs> These two. As you have yet to select a first officer, I would like to submit my candidacy. Oh, yay. Should you desire, I can provide character references. For you to provide character references. <laughs> First of all, rest in peace, Anton Yelchin. He was amazing as Chekhov. He was playing a 17-year-old. I just love that character. He was so talented, so smart, so capable, and so young. He played him beautifully and rest in peace. Episode 1 was freaking great. It was fast-paced. There was so much action. There was plot twists left, right, and bloom and center. It was just so unexpected. And it was actually a lot better than I anticipated. I actually really, really love this movie. I don't want to compare it against Star Wars because I think it's quite different. Yes, it was based in space, but there was time travel going on. And I, I actually love time travel movies. This was done in a very interesting way because at the beginning, obviously, I had no idea that there was going to be time travel of any sort in this film. So it was a little bit confusing to grasp, but then things just started not to make sense. Like what the hell was Nero talking about? And why is he so angry at Spock? Because then we see Spock and he's quite young and he has no recollection of who Nero even is. So then I start to wonder like, okay, Spock clearly is from another place in time. 
And I start to get really, really interested from that point on. Spock in himself is such an interesting and unique character. The Vulcans are really unique as well. I love their people. They're just very, very clinical. That's probably the best word to describe them. Clinical, logical. I don't condone their emotionless lives that they live, but they're definitely entertaining to watch. I found some of the things that Spock was saying so funny. The character Kirk was also really funny. Just such a plot twist that Kirk didn't end up with the girl and it was actually Spock. Who knew that Spock would actually end up being Ahura's type? I certainly couldn't predict that. I also completely missed Chris Hemsworth being in this. All I had to do was scroll down one more time and there is Chris Hemsworth in the cast. I completely missed that. George Kirk, that's him because I saw Chris Pine as Kirk and it just said Kirk so in the beginning of the film when people kept calling George Kirk well actually I think I think he was only called Kirk once and then we kept hearing him being called George by his wife which I was a little bit disappointed we didn't get to see Kirk's mother George's wife in this film I thought maybe they'd go to earth and we'd cut to George's wife and maybe Kirk would have a moment where he could save his mother but it was more about Spock, but that's okay. Maybe we'll get to see her in the future films, who knows? I don't really know where they're going to go with this because with Star Wars, there's one main villain and it's Darth Vader, at least in the Luke Skywalker saga. In this, the villain in this film was killed. So I don't know what to expect in the future films, but I'm still very excited for it. JJ Abrams did a great job in directing this. I didn't have the best experience with the film that he's directed in the past sequels star wars sequels i'm talking about the star wars sequels but this was really great this was amazing and i absolutely loved the beaming technology that really impressed me and the red matter as well crazy crazy weapon absolutely mind-blowing and so scary can you imagine if something like that existed in our world i mean the closest we have is nuclear bombs and that's freaking terrifying this thing this red matter can destroy an entire planet and i can't imagine the amount of guilt that spock has been harboring knowing that he was responsible for six billion deaths and the endangerment of his species luckily 10,000 vulcans survived so hopefully they can rebuild but i think it's going to be really slow and they'll probably remain endangered for a long time i thought eric banner did a great job as the villain as well i hated him and i didn't think that his anger was justified it was a mistake and two wrongs don't make a right but he played a great villain and i don't think i've ever seen seen Eric Banner play a villain before so there was that too this was just an entertaining all-round fun film to watch I really enjoyed it let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, it really helps my channel out uncut version is over on patreon the link for that is in the description bar and in the pinned comments down below where you can also find me on instagram twitter discord twitch you can also follow me on my gaming channel which i've recently just launched and my vlog channel all that is linked down below thank you so much for watching this film along with me take care of yourselves guys and i'll see you in the next one bye everyone yeah.